Hey, off to Lothering, right? Yeah, as always, I'm very prepared for the stream, and of course I looked through the journal before uh, continuing. <laughs> the ring. It's actually right. I should be just more confident. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see Ostagar again. Also kind of funny. We go to Lothering and see a cutscene of Denrim. I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. You Lord, caused that if issue. I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. I mean, he's right. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. Uh -huh. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Bannon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. What a charming and just ruler. Not a tyrant at all. Bantigan, please. Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here. Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? I mean, true, she seems not shaken at all about her husband's passing, right? Oh boy. <laughs> you tell him, Tegan. Ah, oh, again. It will be fun well, to meet you sometime. To attend to. I guess that fellow was the leader. Uh, How we know? They don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. I just wanted to say that. To get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Why do I feel like How getting robbed? Is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Ah, oh, we are being robbed. How charming. Uh... I mean, maybe we can get them to abandon their post or something, right? Your toll collectors, then. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> You're fixing the highway. <laughs> I think not. Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. Small. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. <laughs> Even a general could have understood that. Uh, I like the right guy. He has the kind of voice I do when I voice like very, st very stupid people. And he sounds a little bit like the trolls from Divinity Origins 2, right? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Lugane and Anora are terrible, but Anora seems more a product of her wicked father's upbringing. True, though, I don't know, at some point I would say it's it's on you and not your upbringing anymore. I mean, she seems to be old enough to think for herself, right? So Anora is an opportunist, mostly. I don't think she really cares for her husband. Because, I mean, that's very apparent that she... At least in that scene, we don't know how much else happened, but I mean, if they're addressing like all the owls and all the other people like for the first time, and it seemed like that, it's really weird to don't say anything about the king passing or from her about losing her husband, right? And to be just like, yeah, just follow my dad. Here we go. I mean, that makes it 
I don't know if that makes it worse. Maybe a little bit. That's Legay not only, well, let the king just walk to his own death, but also like his nephew, right? Ah, really charming guy. Pretty sure this was an arranged marriage. It is very common. True, probably that. Though, I don't know. I would hope for at least a little bit affection. Not love, but I don't know. You know, forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. <laughs> Good rules. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. <laughs> Oof. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But oh, well. are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. So you don't have an issue with the fake rumor that we killed the king? Uh, okay. And great, Loghain not only abandoned the king and all the Grey Wardens, but also blamed the Grey Wardens for that? Wow. And I mean, he had so many soldiers, and they all just keep on tight? Great. <sighs> Ooh, we could try to get money from them. You know what? Let's do that. You know, Grey Wands could use a donation. You don't say. Mm -hmm. He's really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. 20 silvers? That's all we've collected today. I mean, the original plan was to get them away from the bridge, right? A most excellent donation. Thank you. Uh, then take it. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. It would have been nicer to get them to stop robbing people. But like this, hey, maybe we can use it for some good. And maybe some good is just like nice equipment for us. Ooh. Knight's Note and Knight's Locket. What I do kind of miss is an option to just like automatically read that note. Uh, this one? A note from Sir Henrik? I guess so. Or is it Maker the Fate? I mean, Sir Henrik sounds like an knight, right? Right. A note from Sir Henrik. Ah, uh, so many of our fellow knights have been searching for the urn. Surely one of them must have found Brother Genitivi by now. Still, until I hear that it's all well, I must proceed as plans. Brother Genitivi holds the key to finding the urn of Sacred Ashes. We always knew this, but I believe I know where Brother Genitivi lies. I've been to his home in Denerim and found the trail, and I'm amazed that other knights have not done likewise. Unless... they have. No. It is best not to get caught up on in thoughts of conspiracy. So Dunwell awaits my report in Lothring. I must go to him immediately and report what I have learned. Should anyone find these ramblings, all I ask is that he be informed of my fate. I pray that he complete what I cannot. Yeah. So I guess he was killed by the thugs. Wait, can I, can I convince you to do, like, honest work? Oh, uh, back, are you? I thought we settled things nice and amicably with you wardens. He also looks kind of like a different skin for Radasta, right? Or is it just me? Hmm. <laughs> Robbing Benders, right? <laughs> Sounds like justice. Now we can try to intimidate them to leave. Let's do that. You know... I think it is time for you and your men, and he cracks his knuckles, to leave. Well, uh, we don't 
one trouble, so yes, we'll do that. Nice. Thank you for sparing us. But you said these refugee types was easy pickings. There are better pastures elsewhere, you fool. Uh, time to go. Nice. I would say that was very successful. We got money. We protect like other travelers coming after us. I would say maximum success. Let's go for intimidation. You should marry Anora and keep Alistair as your side piece. Oh boy. I don't know. Well, I don't know about that. There it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. <laughs> Am I being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. <laughs> oh, Morrigan. Oh, boy. And oh, poor Alistair. Mm. <clears throat> so, what did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make I it love their relationship better. already. I it's awesome. Talk about where we intend to go first. <laughs> so much bickering. <laughs> Morrigan is the shadow heart of Diego. True. It's... I don't know. It's a little bit like Lazelle and Shadowheart, but way less hostile. Like, way less, I'm going to kill you. And way more, you don't have any friends. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess our plan is to look around in Lothering and then go to the different factions, right? Elves, mages, and dwarves it was, I think. And then we're going to punch Loghain. Quite hard, right? Yeah, witty comments, lots of sass. I love it. But I think I was told that Zevran also is kind of like that, right? Ah, looking forward to the companions. <laughs> you know, we should try and use these treaties, I assume. I agree. Have you looked at them? We could look at them? What do you mean? The treaties, the ones we got from Flemeth. With these, we will be able to ask for assistance. Maybe even raise an army. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Hmm. I mean, also in the cutscene earlier, it was hinted that Eamon also isn't the biggest fan of Loghain, right? I wonder why he wasn't there in person, right? A lot of the companions are funny, the only two are kind of serious. Hmm. So a bit of a different spirit compared to the later games. Do you know if there's any way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisselbt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Hmm. So I guess it's just us two. Great, two Grey Wardens. Why are you leaving this up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Arleman <laughs> is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. So I guess that makes us the leader now. I take it. What do you think we should do, Morrigan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming. <sighs> it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I mean, fair? On the other hand, we should discuss what we're doing, right? Come on, children, get along. Do you know the um, the drawing meme with the this I get along shirt? 
or get a long hoodie or something like that. I want that for Alistair Morrigan. And you know what? Probably you can find this artwork somewhere. Mm, then we need to go find these people. Because I would agree, like, going directly to Denrim sounds like suicide. I can give you directions if you like. I think we do have the world map for that, right? Where do we find the uh, Circle of Magi? That would be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. Hmm. Where do we find our Eamon? He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. I wonder how long the, the game spans, like what amount of time. Because, I mean, it seems like we're just traveling by foot, right? No horses, no anything. Where will we find the Dalish? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. Mm -mm. And the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. <gasps> Frostback Mountains! We already were there. But like an Inquisition. And Loghain? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Danarum, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Hmm. Only a suspicion, of course. I guess so, with them spreading weak of the king. I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. I like that we can't, like, decide or tell them our plan. Or do we like, yeah, I have a plan. Onwards. <laughs> I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. I have a plan, but it's my plan and I'm not going to tell you. Doop, 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 doop. I'm such a great leader. Step one, pick elf fruits. Step two, repeat. Step three, uh, step four, profit. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? They're gone. Don't worry. Uh, quite a lot of refugees. Out there all going Just to survive the blight. Supposed to be anyway. Do you think they understand everything we say? <laughs> Conversational barking. Is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron for all we know. <laughs> hey, 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 now. Oh, there's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? Does that apply to Alistair as well? That's what the chances are telling me anyhow. Oh well. Ooh. I mean, I do feel kind of bad about stealing from the refugees, but it is for the greater good. Oh. Let me through, I'm a hero. I don't think they're going to tell us what much. to us now that the king is dead? Mm. And I'm off. I mean, we are at least not wearing any... Oh, we're both not wearing any Grey Warden armor. I just wanted to say it would be smart to actually take on something different. But I mean, then again... Where do you get a new armor set? Mm. Let's explore before walking into Lord of the Ring. <gasps> oh, Elf Root. Priorities. Hey Luna, nice to see you! How are you? How's it going? I hope you had a nice weekend. And how's BG3 going? I can't believe the Kunari in that cage isn't dead yet. It's been three weeks. Why didn't they just execute him? Hmm. A few knights have come through here searching for some holy artifact. None of them stopped to help. Hmm. But yeah, I guess it's the Urn of Secret Ashes. Whatever that is. I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. Me too, me too. So, somewhere in a cage, there should be a Kunari. 
I'll warn you. There's none to be found. You know, I could understand you more easily if you removed your helmet. Well, I want to pet the dog, but I can't. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Always people exploiting crises. I heard those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? It's what just a guess, but I'm thinking so everyone terrible. in Lothering is aware is of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Mm. I mean, how can you be not with all the refugees around? Oh. Have you seen my mother? <sighs> That depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall. And she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some main men with swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could. So I did. She said she'd be <sighs> right behind me. But I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Oh boy. Uh, I have a suspicion what happens. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. I really don't think the mother is still alive. You know what? Come with me. I'll help you look for your mother. I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Uh, I would say maybe we'll send him to the Chantry? Cause, I don't know, he should be waiting here all alone. And, yeah. Go to the Chantry, child. Someone will look after you. Don't find mother first. You're a really nice man, kind of like father. I should go look for mother now. No, oh, poor guy. But now he's looking alone for his mother. That's also not good. I wanted to prevent that. Okay. They probably have way too little stuff here with all the refugees around. And I love that we're still, like, looting everything. Let's refugees. All right, back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. It warms the heart. Truly. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I understood you look evil. And then I looked at the text and was, ah, evil. <laughs> hey, you look evil. Wanna help me? <laughs> oh, gosh. <clears throat> Yeah, we're definitely not going to help them with exploiting the crisis here and all the poor people. Of course, I'm not looking evil. How dare you? Hmm. Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish like Alistair. <laughs> for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Yeah, and a very kind one. If you have 100 silvers, like, on top to just give us, which is quite a lot of money, it is kind of tempting from a gameplay point of view. But, yeah, definitely not. 
I mean, I don't think there are many worse crises than a blight. They should really work together. Uh, people. You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their Why is that the alternative? Because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. I also think he might be bluffing, because, I mean, where does he want to go, like, all alone during a blight? I don't know. The next city is Denrim on the map, right? You know, I think you can comprom compromise and still make profit, no? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. Damn it. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Morgan gives me a little bit of Astarion vibes. <laughs> Just right now. I mean, we were already here. It didn't take us, like, time to solve this. <laughs> don't suppose you're looking to buy something. No, selling. You know, indeed. Let's see what you have. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Hmm. Did he actually have a change of heart? Uh, on the right side is our stuff. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what to sell. So, um, let's just keep the best bow, let's keep the best gray sword. I think this is the best bow. Mm. Also just looking at this value, definitely. You can get back her approval pretty easy. Oh nice. Let's see if Morrigan is going to become our friend or if she's going to be all prickly about us helping people. How dare we? Uh, dragon plate. Uh, yeah. And what I also did in between streams is, um, I know it's, it's not even kind of cheating. It is cheating. I um, installed a mob, mod to increase carrying capacity from 75 to 125. Cause I don't know. It just means less time running to merchants and selling stuff, so it will be nicer for the stream. Right? Right. I don't feel bad about that. We're just going to keep the, the best stuff just for upcoming companions or something. Especially because we have more carrying capacity. I wonder what this memory band is for. Are those ingredients? No, crafting is here. Do you know, chat, can we just sell all the gems, like quartz, greenstone, malachite, and stuff like that? Is it just to sell? Or do you need it for something? Golden Skyf, which is a gift, ooh. Can be given to certain party members to influence their approval rating. Nice. This battlefield spirit maintains a chill, even in direct sunlight, which it appears to absorb. Optimal servings by the drop. Contact with exposed flesh is discouraged, but likely inevitable. Hmm. Yeah, the exceptional ge gems can be given as gifts. How do I recognize an exceptional gem? But yeah, then let's go and sell the stuff. Is a diamond a gem? Like an exceptional gem? It will say in its name. Ah, okay. Uh, a rune, Gruma of the Frozen Wastes. Ooh, gives attribute points. Nice. So I guess we should keep those. Grease trap. I guess Wolf Pelt is also something to just sell. Mm. Like Vellum. 
And I think that's it. Here we go.